Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with another tutorial for App Inventor and this is uh, the tutorial number 7 or 8, I guess, number 8, okay, for this Mario Run app made in App Inventor and today I will show you something, okay, as you check, here we have the app, okay, and in the previous tutorial, well, we were just like copying screens, but I added something, if you check, we have here two sprites, you have this Mario and you have this princess, okay? So the idea is that you can select Mario as usual. So you have Mario, and you start like working and running and jumping. Or if you click in here, you now have princess. Okay, so basically the idea for today is to add a new character, okay, to play in your Mario app. So, um, well, just let's start with the project. The first thing that we're gonna do, it is to open App Inventor. And we're gonna go to projects and the last project that I created it was this one my Mario Run app so let's open this project that it has a, I guess it has a button so just uh, let's wait yeah so we have it in here and now let's go here to uh, companion So we have companion and we're going to try to connect. Okay. So just give me a second. Well, we are just going to connect to this. this R N B J. And that's it. Let's, let's wait. If you remember, now we have in this screen one button to go to the screen number two. And that's um, pretty much the thing. Okay, now let's think about this. The first thing that we're going to need. It is some sprites for the princess. So in this case, it is like what's that? Princess Peach sprites. So we go to Google, and then we just look for some interesting sprites. <coughs> the ones I use for uh, this. Um, tutorial were these ones okay so now um, I use the ones that you have here for walk so I just copy the address and then I just open game well I have it here but if, for example you say open place and then you paste the other the address or the U R I the URI and then you just wait a little bit and you wait if you um, have this thing okay if not you can download them okay if you check here we have the transparency we can just like zoom in zoom out and you have a lot of uh, pixels so I use the walk <coughs> the walk ones sorry guys I am a little sick okay I use these uh, frames And I guess there were like four or five sprites that I, the ones that I use, and I also use the ones for uh, jumping. I guess I use one of these ones. So that is the idea here. So then I use my file for Mario. Okay, that it has this kind of size, the same file, and then I just started pasting and working with this. Okay, I recommend you check the video about sprites. Okay, this is not. 
uh, from my Mario tutorial series, Mario Run tutorial series, okay? And then you just start like grabbing and cropping the, the individual files. So this is for jumping, I have for jumping, and then you have all the sprites. And then I export it one by one. For example, I hide all of them, and then I just export, and I export all of them to a... Um, to a folder using the name princess1, princess2, princess3, princess4, princess5. Then 6 and 7 were for jumping. I just use one of these ones, the 6 or 7. So that is the idea for that. Okay, so you have here the sprites, okay, using the same size as the, um, the Mario file. Okay, so you have to do that, okay. So little by little, exporting the 5 frames or whatever frames you have in your uh, sprites that you want to uh, now to add to your game well then we go to app inventor and then you just upload your sprites I go here and I upload princess one okay I upload princess two <coughs> sorry I upload princess three Then I upload Princess 4. Then I upload Princess 5. And finally, I upload Princess. One of these ones for jumping. I guess this one it's okay. Princess 7. And that's it. We just wait for these files to upload to App Inventor. We have Princess 1, Princess 5, Princess 7. So maybe we are missing Princess 2. Princess 2, we wait a little bit because I, sometimes I try to make things very fast. Wait a little bit. Now Princess 3. Then you have one, two, three, we are missing princess four. Okay, um, five, and I guess I we're missing princess six. Um, well, this is not necessary, it's the jumping one. So for running, it is from one to five. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five. And seven is for jumping. Okay, so we just cancel. And now, if you check in the previous, uh, uh, at the beginning, I show you that it has in the same screen we have the Mario and these things. Okay, um, we can add in the first screen. We can add here maybe Mario. Okay, we are going to do it different because I want to show you how to pass a, uh, a value. Okay, how to pass a value. Um, how to pass a value from one screen to the other screen and we're going to make it here okay so in this case I'm going to create two buttons and we are going to add an horizontal arrangement for these buttons then we just set them to fill parent oh but for high no for width so for high we just set it to automatic and then for these buttons we center the buttons and we're going to give some graphics to them we're going to give a princess uh, seven that is the jumping one to the button number two we're going to rename it don't worry princess seven we are going to remove the text and we're going to scale it, don't worry about that. So in this case it's not a big thing. Then we use just one Mario image. You can use any of these ones. And that's it.
you have Mario and then we're going to insert here an empty image just to give some space and we're going to use um, maybe 5% <coughs> just to separate them so you have these two buttons and you have Mario and you have Princess now to resize them you can resize them here for example for high you can have the percent so let's use that advantage so let's say that the height um, well, let's see that the width the width it's like the um, I don't know maybe the 10% let's see what happens and for this one let's do the same 10% oh maybe here for the height it is like the double like the 20% I'm not sure if this is gonna work like that maybe it's going to be really huge yeah for height let's set it to 10% again I guess that looks okay princess looks okay too so just pretty simple that okay so you have the two buttons now these two buttons if we select one of them they are going to pass a value to say app event or, or to the game you know now you have to use this player okay Mary or you have to use princess so to do that we're going to create first a variable here and let's call it character now character we're going to set character to the default value to a text that it's going to be Mary okay so at the beginning we have Mary now when we play buttons okay so let's rename just the buttons okay it's always a good idea to rename your button so this is princess button and of course this is Mario Mario button now it will be like easier to identify them when we press princess button okay when we click we set this variable okay to duplicate and we're going to call it princess and we just duplicate this one and we say when you press Mario you set to Mary and that's it okay now we're going to pass this value okay when we click um, uh, the button start button when we open the screen number two with the game so if true so that means that if we click this button we're gonna open another screen okay and check in this block you have open a new screen in a multiple screen app and passes the start value to that screen we're going to pass a value we're going to open and pass a value and of course we're going to close the current screen close screen so now what is the value that we're going to pass well not this one sorry but this is for the screen name the screen is screen 2 remember so you check the name here screen 2 and the value that we're going to pass is this one this variable so we're going to pass this variable to global character we're going to pass this variable in this case if we press Mario it will be Mario or if it's princess we will pass princess that's it that it's pretty much the idea in this screen okay when I click this that it will happen okay now when we go to screen number two okay when we open this screen number two we're going to pass this value we have to catch this value and we're going to catch this value in the first um, <coughs> procedures like this one like the any screen procedure we're gonna catch this value so we go here and we look for a value get start value and we're going to create again the same variable that it's called character and we're going to set character to default 
just to avoid mistakes to Mario. Okay, but when we load the screen, we want to set this to the selection that it comes from the other screen. We are going to get this value that comes from the other screen. Okay, so and that's it. If not, well, we're going to get anything. Okay, so character set to character. So now we need to check that this is not empty. Okay, so if we're going to duplicate this one and to delete this one. Sorry. If not, and then we need to check if this is a variable, it is text. If this text is not empty, so we are going to set to the store value. Else, so if this is like that, just we are going to set our character to Mary. In that case, we are going to avoid some mistakes. So the idea here in this block, when we are loading this star value that we are passing from the other screen, that if this is not empty, if this is not empty, we are going to okay we're going if not uh, this variable is not empty the guest star value okay we're going to set the character the variable new character to get star value and that's it pretty much the thing we have the variable and now we need to set something okay so we try to make this very 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 simple so we're going to move some things okay so i am interested in the procedure about the animation procedure because this is the one that it's uh checking the running thing the running cycle so let's rename it to running running animation procedure that is the one that it checks the frames we have five frames uh, that's it okay now we're going to duplicate this procedure and it where it go it is going to be running animation procedure too so this is the one for the princess now if it's the same because we have five frames if we have less frames well we just adjust this thing but for the princess remember princess we have a name for the files the files are not one two three like in mario the files are princess one two princess two princess three so we need to add something to the name here so the global frame is like a number is one two three four five so we need to add before this number we are going to add a text that is princess we check that is in a lower case princess and then when we have it we have princess one point png and that's it okay so basically it is the same thing it is the same thing now we need to use this procedure we use this procedure in the animation clock so let, let's move these things the, the enemy that is the this is not necessary so now the animation clock now we need to tell the animation clock which procedure run if one or two so for this we are going to use a condition okay so by the way check my video about conditions okay um, that, can, that can help you well anyway so we have here so how can we know if we have to use procedure one or running animation procedure procedure one or running animation procedure two well this is pretty simple if we use a simple condition so we're going to say if the variable remember the variable that we said at the beginning equals that is a text so we're going to compare text if the variable character equals to Mario Mario from the animation procedure one else we can use just elf if we have something different from mario well we use princess okay so but let's be very specific specific so now we just duplicate this one and we change this to princess what if we want to add more okay princess if the text is princess we're going to run running animation procedure two and that's it now we just need to do something else and this thing it is about uh, we have to check the jumping procedure in the jumping procedure we are using just a, um, a frame check when we jump we are using here um, 
let me move these guys the gravity and we're using the, the jumping we're using the five frame for Mario okay for jumping but in this case uh, we want to use the frame from the princess that it's the number seven so we're going to use a condition okay so in this case we are going to add in here we duplicate this one and we delete this one that we just put it here so now we need to set the condition if okay so again using the same thing about if we check if the variable it is let's say um, which one I say uh, sorry it is this one if character if character equals to Mario well use fine PNG else or else if if this equals to princess but we can use else if it's something different from Mario okay because we just have two sprites we're going to duplicate this one and we're going to use the one that I say that is princess princess <coughs> seven so use this one when we when you jump that is pretty much the thing that we need to do and now what happens when we finish the game we, we just still continue using the princess the princess the princess so we need to add two more uh sprites maybe okay here to have one here or one one here okay just to change um this thing because right now we just uh, can modify the game just by going to this screen or returning to the other one so that is not really convenient okay but for example um let's add here well let's check first when we go to screen number one let's say that i select princess now the problem with companion is that we cannot pass these values okay we cannot open another screen sometimes it gets like crash or something okay a uh, happy mentor or companion so if i play this it has a message that you know this is not supported oh sorry i have to go to the dentist but not today well it's starting to trying to open this thing but i guess it won't work unless we just uh maybe we just uh build the app okay but so we cannot do that so let's say that we return here to Mario and when we play we have princess now what if we set the variable to Mario we set the variable to Mario well let's say that we just let's do something that is not just to test if we set the character variable to Mario to do that when you have companion just select this this is just do it and when we press here we have Mario and then we have this because it has nothing okay well we just need to set this when we have the game over okay well now let's do that so let's add the two sprites in here I guess this is the thing that I have to do since the very beginning but well it is just to show you the possibilities so let's add here, here on sprite another sprite and let's call this sprite options one option one sprite and let's call this one to option sprite 2 option sprite 2 now option sprite 1 it will be the princess or Mario well let's set it to Mario so let's set a picture and the picture will be uh, Mario let's use one for Mario what about number 5 and this one will be the princess princess number seven 
and for this height and width we're going to use um, we're going to go here to the ini the ini screen okay so now we're in the ini screen and we're going to create the size of Mario on this okay so I guess we're going to use some variable uh, values from the normal Mario sprite so we're going to um, use this one so Mario sprite so we're going to use the position of this one and the size of Mario sprite so let's use this let's duplicate this one for Mario height and width and instead of Mario we are going to use option sprite 1 option sprite 1 and we're going to change this to option sprite 1 this is for Mario and then we're going to duplicate these ones and we're going to change it to option sprite 2 so the idea in here is that I am just um, I'm just scaling them okay so you can insert the, uh, these ones in a procedure just to have here princess loading or characters let's call it characters and we're going to set this thing so we're going to set them there and we have to place them to place them we're going to place them uh, we're going to use the same procedures for Mario the X and Y here we duplicate X and we duplicate Y and then we are just going to uh, adjust the values for these friends for option sprite this is going to be option sprite one option sprite one I say option sprite one option sprite one and then we do the same for two duplicate and change to two that's it now we check the values for example for option sprite one the position is in the 55 percent that's okay and the high here we use to change to option sprite one and this one to option sprite two basically that is the idea so and then we just modify this well they cannot be in the same so maybe 55 maybe one is at 75 or 60 60 percent and the other is at 45 for example so now we go to the procedure and we're going to check the procedures characters loading we are going to do them and we have them in here that i like it or we can have it in here okay so we just select the character touching here when we touch here or we can put them uh, not here in this part okay so you can set them like a little bit higher okay well to do that we can use something like this okay by using the height but i guess i really like it in here okay because it is like the game okay so now we are going to load this procedure here in the initial procedure now we set it here that's it we are going to load this when we <coughs> when we the uh, when the app loads now when we press the start button we want to disappear these graphics so we go to mario sorry duplicate this one and we set it to option sprite one two false we duplicate this one and we change it to option sprite two to false now when we start the app or this procedure because we are going to run it again um, we're going to make them visible I know they are visible but we, when we hide them okay remember when we finish the game when we have a game over so we're going to make them visible so we're going to check the game over procedure so just to disappear or to appear then so I guess we have to appear them so let's go here let's just look for game over 
we have game over over there game over game over platform because it's over here game over so when we have game over we load any screen so any screen it is the one where we load so we don't need to make them visible okay so well that is the idea now when we touch option sprite one that is um, Mario when we touch Mario we set the variable character Global character to Mario. Okay, we duplicate this one and we change it to Option Sprite two. So we change this to Princess, and that's it. Okay, when we start the game, we are going to check if we have these variables. Okay, for example, if I play this, let's see what happens. I'm not sure if this is going to work. We select Mario. And that's it. And then we just die. Then we just select Princess. And we have Princess. And if we die. And we play again. We have Princess again. And what happens if I die with Mario? We select Mario. Play. And we die with Mario. Da, 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 da. Then we go play. It has this value, so we need to check this. What is changing? Okay, this thing. Because it's loading again the screen. It is not like using this. So maybe the variable is like empty. <laughs> And we check here um, the global character. So we go to global character and we check do it. And the result is princess. When we die, we set the, the uh, variable to princess. Okay. So that means that we have something over there that is changing this thing. Okay, so we go to maybe to the game over thing. So when we touch this, when we die, and then we are loading, say high score, then any screen, and maybe in any screen there is uh, there's the mistake. Okay, so maybe there. we just go here but I guess it is just something and it's not like super 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 important because I guess we have it almost almost so we have Mario and when we load this okay it is not empty get star value set uh, global character character to get star value well it's because it's not empty maybe we are like returning this value okay because we click this in the other one okay if it's not empty we just play, uh, click this, okay? And set global character to Mario. Well, that is um, very much the idea with this thing, okay? See so if we have this value. Um, and I guess we can set something else to avoid this mistake. Just for the first time, we want to keep this uh, variable or this value. So the get start value maybe just we can just uh delete the get star value I'm, I'm sure if it's possible i guess no i guess no that's not possible okay well that is the thing that we have to do so um well I guess that is the idea with this tutorial. So you have to click here, you have to click in here. So if it's not empty, get start value. And that's it. Maybe we can add a condition, but well, I guess that's all for today, okay? So you select here and you play with your character. And you can add more characters, okay? Just uh, check. You can add another condition or another procedure for the animation. And you have. Okay. 
Well, that is the idea for this tutorial, okay? So basically we just check how to add more sprites to the game, okay? Another option, we can add an extra player over here, we just get the sprites. We use, that is very important, you have to use the same size of the uh, files that you were using originally, for example, the Mario sprites, okay? So the same canvas, so that's the idea. You export them, then you import them, and then you just duplicate the animation procedure, remember? Okay, um, then we just add a condition. Okay, so he, here we have the animation procedure for Mario and the animation procedure for this. We just add the name. Okay, we just join the name Princess because Mario just has the name number one, two, three, four, five. Then we just add a condition. That's it. Okay, so that that's the thing that we just made. Okay, we just proceed one if we have the variable character to Mario, or we use Princess if we have the variable to Princess. So basically that is the idea with this uh, pizza. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Um, I will see you next time in the next uh, video. Okay, please share this video with someone who's learning at Inventor. Okay, and, um, and also uh, check my other tutorials about Mario. It is almost like done this app, okay? So maybe we can add something extra. And I will show you something in the next video, okay? Something that uh, uh, some, someone who's, uh, who watches uh, these videos uh, did, okay? With App Inventor and these Mario tutorials. And I really like it. I feel, I feel really, really, really proud of, uh, of this, okay? Because uh, I'm happy when I see so uh, when I don't, I don't know the apps of someone that has been like following some of my tutorials so I, mean, I feel really happy okay so well um, my name is Eduardo and I will see you the next time okay so thanks for watching this video see you